Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I will show you how to use OBS Studios. But before we start the video, please subscribe, turn on the notifications, and like this video. Anyways, let's just get into it. I forgot to tell you guys this, but make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna record this to clear things up because my friend has OBS Studios and he does not know how to use it. It's laggy, so I need to make a video on OBS Studios. But yeah, um, I'm gonna show you what to do today. Alright, so the first thing you should do is search up OBS Studios. That is the recording software, so you're just gonna click on the first one. And right here is OBS Studios, right here. So there's gonna be options. There's gonna be for Windows, there's gonna be for Mac, and there's gonna be for Linux. But like, if you're on Mac, press Mac. If you're on Windows, then meh. Click on what you have. So I would click on Windows and it's gonna download, but I'm just gonna cancel it because I already have it. After it downloads, you shouldn't see this, but I'm gonna just make a new scene or something so I can show you guys what it should look like. All right, here is a new fresh OBS Studios thingy in here. This is what you should see. This is when you start, you should see this. So what you should do first is go to file and then settings so we're gonna go to output because that's the first thing we need to go to it should be at simple but like so let's just go output mode to advanced because that's what people usually use go to recording because like i'm gonna maybe do a streaming soon but like we're doing recording for now now keep the type at standard and recording path you click on browse and um you just choose like any folders you want to put your video in so this is where your video is gonna be after you're done recording so mine's gonna be in the recordings folder recording format should stay at mp4 because youtube wants this and this is like a usual video thingy <laughs> okay now audio track you could put it at one or two if you're not editing your video you can just press one but i edit my video so i'm gonna press two i'm just just don't care about this all right um i'll make an advanced tutorial soon for audio track and stuff maybe on my second channel but like yeah just put it at one now encoder i have the nvidia nvenc h.2 but like if you don't have um nvidia graphics cards then use x264 which i'm gonna use for this tutorial and i'm also gonna show you how to use nvidia for x264 make sure you put it at cbr and um i'll you know, go to this website right here it's right here. It's linked in the description. I'll have everything linked in the description. If you have a 1080p monitor, you press this thing right here. So how you check is you can go to, you, you should go on your desktop, you right click and um, you click on display settings and um, display resolution right here. You can see your display resolution. Mine's at 1920x1080. If your PC is not good, you can use 4,500 but like if yours is like a mid-end pc you can use 9000 it like just mess around with it like because i have no idea what you want but i'm just gonna set it as this as the default now cpu usage i recommend you to put it at ultra fast or super fast if you have like a low-end pc but i'm gonna put it at like super fast because like why not now profile you should put it at high tune you should put it at zero zero latency and um your settings should be good okay now for the nvidia encoder rate control at cbr bit rate here i use 16,000, but if this is my bit rate you can do um 9,000, and you can do five five thousand you can do thirty thousand but I'm gonna keep mine at 16,000 because that's what I use. Now keyframe intervals at two, reset at quality. If it doesn't work for you, then just you can go lower. Now let's go to audio. This doesn't really matter actually. If you're not, if you're recording and you don't want to use audio, this doesn't matter. But desktop audio, you choose your headphones. If you want to use your mic, you go here and you click on your mic right there and you click on apply and it doesn't really yeah like audio is super easy now go to video now base canvas resolution at 1920x1080 and output is 1920x1080 so you have to put the same because like 
that's the usual quality for videos. Now downscale filter is at Linksos or something, I don't know. Just choose Linksos. This one's the best. And choose 60 FPS cause that's the best FPS. And now just click OK. And now you're wondering, why does it look like this? It's still not showing my screen. What you do is actually go to sources, go to click this button right here. You can use game capture or display capture. I'm going to um, choose game capture first. Make sure you have Roblox opened or any game opened before choosing the game capture. But you press this and you press game capture and you can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it Roblox. Now I'm gonna click OK. Now mode, I'm gonna click capture specific window and I'm gonna click Roblox player beta.exe and you press OK and it should show up right here. This is your screen. Another way is display capture, which is much easier. So you just press the plus button, display capture, just press OK. You'll see the screen right here. Capture method, just don't care about this, this doesn't matter. Display, you click on your first monitor or your second if you have a second one, but I only have one because I suck. But like here, you see capture cursor, you cannot just disable your cursor in your videos. As you can see right there, it's not showing my cursor, but I wouldn't recommend that. But just click OK, and you'll see this loopy loop thing right here. It looks pretty cool, right? If you turn this off, it'll record like, like this. I'm using display capture right now. Yeah, it should look like this, but uh, yeah, that's display capture, and you can also add other stuff on it, but like, display capture is the best. You can add a uh, camera in here, which is video capture device, but you know what, you see this, right? You see, there's really nothing to see for my webcam, because I don't use my webcam. You can scale it however you want right here. Now, I'm just gonna test record right here. I'm gonna press the record button. Now, I'm gonna just walk around and stuff. Um, yeah, subscribe stuff, yeah. So, I'm just gonna go play it back. I'm gonna press the record button. Now, I'm gonna just walk around and stuff. Um, yeah, subscribe stuff, yeah. I'm just gonna go end the record. Yeah, um, it looks, yeah, there's the webcam, there's the gameplay. This, this works, alright? This works. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. OBS is, like, super simple to me. Stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next one.